Let's travel to the continent of Africa this quarter. We will take a look at the East Central Africa Division. This division is made up of 11 countries, including Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Kenya, Djibouti, Rwanda, Somalia, South Sudan, Uganda, and Tanzania. The East Central Africa Division has one of the highest populations of Adventists, with a membership of more than 2.7 million. Although there are many Adventists, there are still many mission challenges in this division. This quarter, your 13th Sabbath offerings will benefit mission work in the countries of Kenya, Tanzania, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Democratic Republic of Congo, or DRC, is home to more than half a million Seventh-day Adventists. There is a variety in the landscape, from the busy streets of the capital city to the peaceful valleys across the country. After the division of Sudan into North and South, DRC has become the largest country in Africa. It is a vast territory, but church members and institutions here are dedicated to God's call. Here in the city of Kinshasa, the people are exposed to different religions, including various forms of Christianity. Adventist churches are full of people and their love for God is vibrant. But the members feel a burden to share the Adventist message with the millions of people who have never heard it. Alphonse Kabaya is the executive secretary and global mission director in the West Congo Union. He knows that something needs to be done so the members can effectively reach their communities. You see, Kinshasa is the big city. As a church, as a Seventh-day Adventist church, uh, we need to have a center of evangelism here. A center for evangelism would be used to train the members to teach others about Jesus. Global mission pioneers are working in this city and throughout the East Central Africa Division. This is just one example of a group who gathers regularly. This global mission pioneer has dedicated his life to go wherever he is called. I have chosen to become a global mission pioneer because I have had an appeal from God. We have few workers here and we need more. That is why I am a global mission pioneer. It is equally important for the church to provide a place for the children to praise God. They are also called to share His love with others. Here in Kinshasa, kids are full of life and love to share what they know with other kids. Please pray for both the children and adults here in Kinshasa. An Adventist university sits in a more remote area of DRC. On the other side of the country, this university is working hard to provide a quality education for their students. The university uses God's natural environment to provide in a unique way. This generator uses running water to create electricity and power the school. Dormitories and academic buildings get power from this source. The university is looking forward and has set goals for their future. We have uh, several goals and uh, one of them is to see the university progressing so that uh, we can reach uh, at least, uh, you know, self-supporting. Yeah, that's really our goal. Please pray for the church in DRC, that God will continue to provide for them. As the sun beats down on the country of Tanzania, the Adventist members and visitors meet for camp meeting. They gather here by the hundreds to hear a message and sing songs on the Sabbath. The members don't let the hot sun stop them from enjoying the opportunity to worship. The church in Tanzania has more than 430,000 members. Here in the city of Mwanza alone, there are more than 30 Adventist churches. Throughout the week, people study the Bible in their homes. They want to follow God's leading. In Mwanza, there is a need for health care. 
The Adventist Church operates a small clinic to treat things such as malaria and broken bones. But the dream is to have a full hospital here. The members have stepped out in faith, and with their own money, they have begun construction already. The project will be um, of great uh, help to the evangelization or preaching of the gospel, preparing the people for the Lord, because we believe it is the right arm of the gospel, whereby it will open the hearts of the people ready to hear the message of the return of Jesus Christ. There are thousands in Tanzania who don't know the Adventist message. Please pray that the work being done in Mwanza will spread and people will come to know Jesus. In Kenya, the Adventist Church continues to grow each year. There are more than 680,000 members here. When you talk to church leaders, they will tell you their dream to expand their churches and schools. At the University of Eastern Africa, Bariton, the student population is growing. This school is built in a beautiful rural area. Here on campus, they have their own farm with cows for milk and chickens for eggs. They produce a lot of what the students need themselves. They even make their own ice cream. The ice cream is packaged and sold to earn money for the school. Here at Bariton, they are doing everything they can to provide a quality, holistic education. Danny Harlamana is the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Finance at Bariton. He oversees a lot of the projects that happen here. He explains what they are striving for as a university. We feel very happy because the Worldwide Church is uh, supporting us in our uh, mission to educate and uh, help the community around us. Many of the students are married with children. When they have a concern, they come talk to Dr. Joel Yoyo, who is the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Student Affairs. We have expressed the need um, as a university because we have got um, uh, the new influx of students, uh, especially the international students who come to our university and uh, particularly those who are married students. They have, um, we have had um, um, uh, quite a shortage as far as uh, housing is concerned. Although there is a housing challenge, Students still come to study here because they value the Christ-centered education. Uh, some students have come to me right here in, in office to say, hey, Dr. Yoya, I think of being baptized. Why? They have met Christ on campus. On the university's campus is Bariton International School. This school was originally developed to provide education for the children of university faculty and staff. Over time, more and more married students came and enrolled their kids in the school. Now, university staff, students, and even the community send their children here. The facilities are worn and new classrooms are needed. Everlyn Adigu is the principal here. She's grateful for what the World Church is doing to improve the facilities. When I look at these children and uh, the love I have for them, I'm a parent also. I just feel, you no, know, these children are a special gift from God and we have to support them to get the best. Please pray for the people of Kenya as they train young people to share the gospel. Throughout the East Central Africa Division, people are coming to know the true word of God. Despite all the challenges and obstacles, the story of Jesus is being told. Please pray for the people in this division so they will have the strength to continue the work God has called them to do. And thank you for supporting the mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church.